Hi Gemini, how are you uh, this week? Um, um, this is your reading for the 24th to the 1st of March 2020 and I'm glad to see you back and thank you very much for being so faithful and coming in and support the channel and watch your videos. I do go live every day and give away free cards so if you would like to come and join us and get your free cards then you're more than welcome and um, uh, our family is called the cyber family and the chat room is called the tea room and we have cyber angels or cyber babes and um, all the viewers are that and I'm cyber mum so you're more than welcome to come in and um, meet all of us we have uh, fun, we have listening ears, um, if a problem aired is a problem shared, then the lo load won't be so heavy if you share your problem. And if you've got a specific question, you can do a super chat, and um, that means that you can donate um, uh, by doing a super chat or buy a super sticker, and I will give you an answer of three cards and an oracle card. If you would like an extensive, extensive reading, then please look for the information underneath this video in the description box. And also right here in the corner, there will be a little red, a white circle. Click on that and it will take you through to the website, charliesangeltarot.com. And you can have a scout around there. I'll be posting uh, uh, the, uh, regularly new uh, blogs. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for sharing and giving us the thumbs up. Well, Gemini, you've got the for the 24th. Your first card is the King of Cups. You won't see any men actually physically in this deck because this deck is dedicated to our feminine side and to the ladies because of their strong, loving, nurturing, passionate nature and caring nature. So you might be meeting the King of Cups and he's a nurturing side as well. The Cups stand for uh, love, passion, nurturing, uh, taking care, uh, sensuality and sexuality. So you and also spiritual, uh, spirituality. Um, because they can be very sensitive, emotional, they use their intuitiveness and they might be psychic as well, as they stand for the moon. Pisces, for instance, um, is um, recognized as the moon sign, it represents the moon, or the moon represents Pisces, and can, uh, Cancer the rep is represented by the chariot. Um, just a couple of little extra tips. And Scorpio, um, I forgot what Scorpio, I think that was the Queen or the King of Cups. Anyway, um, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. So you could be meeting a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces on the 24th. This could be a man with a nurturing, extra nurturing side, Gemini. And we've got the um, Empress. <clears throat> the Empress uh, it stands for fertility. So if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. She stands for birth. This could be a birth of a child or a birth of a project, a new job. Um, she also stands for uh, growth and uh, blossoming and harvesting. So she is mother, no, also known as Mother Earth, like the Queen of Pentacles. And so if you've invested in something, then you might be harvesting uh, today. If you um, in, have invested time in a friendship with a water sign, it could become something more. It will go up to the next level as she represents growth. In the middle of the week, you've got the Wheel of Destiny, the Wheel of Fortune. This is also my uh, card for karma. It uh, 
like the hands of a clock, they are keep moving onwards and upwards. So if you have a relationship, this is also a confirmation that this relationship is might be moving up to the next level. That's the wheel of fortune. Now, karma, if you've done good or bad, you'll get it back threefold. If somebody's done you wrong or good, they'll get it back threefold. Awesome. You might be moving home or you might be going on holiday. And there is an end of a phase and a new beginning. There, It's time now to move on. Great stuff. So that's one new beginning, also the Empress. And you might feel out of sorts or feeling left out of a group at work or uh, at home in the family or friend circle. Don't worry, this is short-lived as the time is moving on, okay? Go out there and mingle, Gemini. Uh, you need uh, company, you love company, and um, you love chatting. And get, you are also eager to um, gather knowledge because the Gemini is an air sign and the air signs stand for knowledge, wisdom, uh, communication, and uh, yeah, justice. Clarity and honesty. You always seek more information. You've got the Three of Cups on Friday, so there might be good news coming your way. Wow. Celebrations. You might be invited to a birthday party or a celebration, a wedding perhaps, an engagement party. Okay, you've got the lovers, so you might be meeting your soulmate, or you might be meeting an other Gemini, Gemini, and that could be your soulmate. Boom, you've got water and the Gemini. Brilliant. At the end of the week, at the weekend, you have the Knight of Pentacles, so you might receive news from a Gemini about money. You might receive news about a job, something that is for long term and that is durable. And you've also got the Knight of Wands here lying next to the Gemini card. So that could be indeed about a new job or a new hobby. Uh, action is a job and creativity is um, uh, a job but a job that pays well. This could be um, the Knight of uh, Pentacles, could say you've got a, that new house, or you've got that job, or you've got a job race, or there is some money coming towards you. Brilliant. And uh, this could happen also during the week. Don't forget that you don't usually get news like that um, in the weekend, uh, on Sunday anyway, but you could get it on Saturday, but offices usually are closed. So it could be on Friday and that you are celebrating this new job or this new house since you've got the wheel of, for uh, wheel of destiny, the wheel of fortune, as some call it, and that means moving home. And also, what there was another card moving home? Yes. The Knight of Wands also means moving home. But if you get this news from the Knight of Wands, act upon it swiftly, because otherwise it will pass your nose. But it will pass your, how do you say that in English? Sorry, my English is not very good today. Um, it will, don't let the opportunity pass you by. That's it. I was doing it, uh, translating it from Dutch, a saying in Dutch. The all, all over energy is news and travel. This could be traveling spiritually or physically. As you've got the travel card um, here, uh, the wheel of destiny that is moving home, moving home. You could be moving home this weekend or getting news that you can move in this weekend or you might be taking a holiday. And everything seems to happen all at once and very, very fast. It never rains, it just pours. That's what I always experience. And that's the 
uh, overall energy throughout the week. And you've got the Ace of Wands, new beginnings, and that could be that job, okay? Or that passion with a Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Make sure you know your boundaries and let them know your, what your boundaries are. Um, because passion, it doesn't last and love does. So if you wanted to grow into a passionate, full-fledged um, relationship, then let them know your boundaries and know their boundaries. Otherwise, you'll burn out because air uh, stirs on fire, okay? And fire is action. You'll burn up. You'll get tired and there won't be any passion left. So pace it. Take it slowly. If you are already going out with a fire sign, then the relationship might go up a notch. That is also a new beginning. You won't feel left out anymore. Now, so there will, perhaps you, uh, the, the relationship is going up a next level and you're going to celebrate. It could be that as well, or that you're going to move in together. For the um, answer of the angels, I did not sort the cards out, and Gemini, believe me, please. You've got big happy changes. Well, according to the cards, there are big happy changes. A soulmate, um, celebrations, uh, new beginnings, endings, um, and big, big time payback, karma. So if you've done good, you'll get it back threefold. Awesome. I love the way these cards shine. And look at that angel. She's, yahoo! She's got her arms up in the air. Open your arms to receive the big happy changes, gems. So here we go. Big positive changes are coming into your life. You may find yourself on a new career path, entering a new relationship or moving to a new home or city. Embrace these exciting events, knowing that your angels will be beside you all the way. What you are asking about may require you to take leaps of faith that seem frightening or beyond your ability. Trust that the opportunities before you are meant to bring you happiness. These options would not have presented themselves unless you were ready for them. Release your fears and follow your hearts. Awesome. And for the surrender card is surrender worry. Again, telling you not to worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Well, if you um, join me in the live session, um, then you can join in the... Uh, <clears throat> gratitude and thanks session and also the healing session it's all rolled into one there I can show you how to breathe and to check your breath and how to come to yourself and calm yourself okay gems if you, I hope you've liked this reading I think it's awesome for a lot of you it might not resonate so if it doesn't, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. A lot of you will start new jobs and celebrate. A lot of you might join up with a new partner or, go, or with your present partner, go up a notch. Um, getting married or going on holiday or moving in. Awesome. So don't worry, everything is going to be fine. Take care, Jimmy Jim Gems. Love you and thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell and sharing and liking the video. Ciao, ciao.